All right, we've got Parker Gabriel on the line from Husker Extra. Of course, uh, spring practice starts in just about a week. Um, Parker, your thoughts about uh, as you just kind of review personnel losses and the incoming class, the guys that are going to be on campus that might make an impact, although that's just very, very young, just in the door. But in regards to guys waiting in the wings that have been around the program for a year or two, your overall thoughts before we really dig in, hopefully in the next few weeks on spring practice, about what you're going to be looking at. Yeah, uh, there's a couple, offensively, there's a couple of, of position battles that'll be really key. But one big difference from, from last year to this year, last year, you know, it was a quarterback battle, tried and true. Um, Patrick O'Brien left halfway through camp. We came out of spring ball last year with Adrian Martinez, Tristan Jebbia, and Andrew Bunch uh, competing for the job. There's none of that this year. You know, it's Adrian Martinez's job. They really like uh, Luke McCaffrey, the youngest of the McCaffrey family. Um, he's a mid-year enrollee. He's just getting going first semester in college. Um, they love his athleticism and what he can do. But, I mean, you know, Adrian Martinez is is the guy. Um, and so – but the wide receiver is a really big question mark. They lose Stanley Morgan. Um, J.D. Spielman comes back. He's one of the best returning receivers in the Big Ten. But after that, I mean, you know, two through four ostensibly is wide open. And there's a couple of freshmen who are already on campus in – in Jamie Nance and Wandell Robinson, who will have a chance to put themselves in that conversation early. Um, they've got a couple of junior college guys who are going to be seniors in Jerron Woodyard and Mike Williams, who they really need a big jump from in, from each of them. Um, they've got some guys in the middle, um, Cade Warner, Kurt Warner's son, who's a walk-on, and uh, Javon McQuitty, who's coming into his third year in the program. You know, that there's a lot of names in that conversation and there's a lot of production that they need to find in that group. So it's a matter of just getting, uh, figuring out there, turn the guys loose and let them compete there. And then they've got to replace two offensive linemen, including a center uh, position. Um, there's no obvious heir apparent. Um, so it's going to be a three, a four, maybe even a five way competition for uh, center and left guard. Um, and it's possible they've got a young tech a young tackle of Bryce Bennett, um, who a lot of people think is college ready. You never know till he gets to campus. Um, but the offensive line, even though they have both tackles and a, and a right guard coming back, I think that you'll see a lot of experimentation and a lot of movement. And it'll be interesting to see um, who the top two, what the top two lines look like there. But that that won't really be decided until August. Parker Gabriel from uh, Husker Extra helping us with Nebraska football. Uh, Parker, people are are uh, just clamoring for Nebraska content here. So uh, we appreciate you stopping by. You have delivered as always, and hopefully we can track you down in the next few weeks and see what's going on at spring practice. Yep, anytime, Mark. Thanks for having me.